My son had a super late whatnot last night and he is 17. So while he does sell on my platform, I have to supervise all of his shows. So that meant that I was up really late last night too. Um, I'd kind of like to go back to bed. My kids just left for school and I'm being honest with you guys, I want to go back to bed. But it's also fill a bag day over at the Amazon bin store in my town, which means you get to fill an entire Ikea bag for $10. It doesn't look like they have a ton of stuff today, but I'm willing to show up early and stand in line. Here's the plan for today. I'm going to fill a bag, bring it in, haul it for you guys, and immediately have a whatnot show because I want to see in one day's time what exactly I could flip $10 into with pretty low effort. First stop is the Amazon store. <laughs> Okay, there were only two rows of things today and to be honest with you, I've never seen it clear out quite as fast as what it did. Um, they open at nine o'clock and by 9.20 we had everything was gone. Like hitting plastic. There's usually a few items left that kind of like nobody wanted, uh, but not today. Today, literally, we were hitting plastic. So um, I did get a pretty good size bag. Let me show you guys. So they dumped my Ikea bag into this large uh, plastic trash bag. To be honest with you, I'm not even totally sure everything that I got in here. It's kind of like a mad dash to, to fill up your bag. Like I said, everything was gone inside of 20 minutes. So first things first, let's see what all I got. And maybe I'll even count how many items I got. So we'll know the true cost of goods per item. Let's see what's in this bag. You know what's not super glam? Digging through the Amazon bins, the Goodwill bins, anything like that. Like standing in line to get inside of a discount store, dragging a trash bag around that store and paying $10 for it. Like there's, there's not a whole lot of super glam about something like that, but you know what is luxurious and glam? This robe, this is glam, this is luxury. Oh my gosh, guys, it's so silky. Uh, Olivari sent me this to totally level up my game. I can do all of my work from home, feel like I'm in my pajamas if I want to, but still have like, not just a touch of glam. Are you guys seeing this? They let me pick out any style I wanted and I picked out this animal print because I thought it was so fun. Are these leopards? Are they jaguars? What exactly? I'm not sure what animal it is, but I am wholeheartedly convinced that I love it. Olivari's entire website is Asian inspired custom designs of the silkiest pajamas and robes that you will ever find anywhere online. Okay, this robe is totally dual purpose because while I can absolutely like tie it up and wear it as the bougiest little piece of pajamas that I own and work from home in luxury but still comfort I could wait a minute wait for this take the belt off go with me for a second style this thing as a kimono and go out into town like tell me this doesn't work as a kimono I love this pattern I love this robe thank you Olivari I linked it down below in the description with a discount code so you guys could grab one too if you want to all right I have the whole bag I got a pair of scissors also uh, because some of these like they tape the boxes up a lot so there's literally some things in here I have no idea what they are but let's see. Oh, I got a couple posters. I hope that these will go today. This one says uh, Phil Health Bodybuild. Okay, this one's a bodybuilder poster. <laughs> this might be interesting to see. Oh, oh, hi guys. <laughs> this guy is jacked. Um, maybe somebody will buy this today for $200. <laughs> this guy is like vascular, very veiny. All right, no idea what this one is. Oh, it's, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, I should show you guys. It's these dogs watching Santa sleigh over the moon. Ah, one more, another poster. This one, oh, I love it. Very inspirational and that is amazing. Like, I don't know, am I the only person that sees that this is Jesus and this is me drowning? I love this one. Transparent PC case for series 6 SE 54 44 millimeter two pack. So I guess it's just like the case around. Oh, I just opened it. Oh, there's two of them in there. There's two of the clear cases for an Apple watch. I think I got a ton of these. So um, the aim today is to start everything out at $2. I'll start some of these for $2, but I may end up doing like reseller lots and lotting up like 10 of them for $2. Something where people could make quite a bit of money if they want to. This is another um, Apple watch cover. There's, I'm serious, there's a ton of these today. Here's a black one. Here is a gold tone one a rose gold kind of like a metallic pink one these are all little apple watch 
case covers. Dello, do you need a case cover for your Apple Watch? You don't ever wear your Apple Watch. This is um, like an AirPods case. Ooh, valve stem caps. We find so many of these every single week at the bins. And my son usually lists these on my eBay for $9.99 with free shipping. I'm starting them out at $2 today. He sells them consistently for $10. Uh, more Apple Watch cases. There, I can tell you right now that that's gonna be a lot of things. I got these mouse pads. I may run some of these today. I'm not sure. I, I almost thought, I got so many of these, I could almost do them as merch. Like if if I put treat your business like your business over there or something. They're 2024 calendars and they're also mouse pads and we're only in February. So you still have the rest of the year left, but I'm gonna actually make a stack of these and by the end of the video, we'll add them up and see how many of those I have. Another Apple watch case, Apple watch case, Apple watch case. There's so many of these. Mouse pad, mouse pad. Again, guys, everything you see in today's video cost me collectively $10 for the entire bag. Tax and all, I think it was like $10.81. This is a red envelope. I have no idea what's in here. Um, oh, it's like a Christmas card. Wait, what all is this? Um, I actually have no idea. This says RFID card reader protection. So it has this little case for your card. And then these are like, this is like a skin for something, but for what? There's more stickers on this one. I don't know what these stickers are for. <laughs> Thank you. I believe where dreams can reach someday, we can get there too. I have no idea. No actual, is there anything written? Credit card skin. Oh! Oh, it's actually for your credit card. Like your chip reader thing goes there. So you can put, why would anyone do that? <laughs> why? Okay. Maybe so people like don't see your numbers. Okay, Dello said he's seen these before. I've never seen them. But I mean, these ones I think are just make maybe the strip or something. It does make sense because sometimes people are all up in your business right next to you at the cash register. Or I've even thought when you're standing at the cash register, like nothing keeps someone from zooming in on security footage and seeing what your card number is. Like you do kind of have your card numbers out there a lot. And to be honest with you, you could, ooh, good idea. You could put that sticker over it for your cards that you use at a restaurant. Cause isn't it a little bit weird that like they take your card and leave and have access to all of your numbers the whole time that they have your card. <laughs> Okay, so those aren't as stupid as I originally thought. These are Jeep valve stem caps. These are car coasters, and this one is for, let's see what type of car these are for. So it comes two in a pack, and it just says sport. I'm not sure exactly what the logo is on that, but they're car coasters. They're little rubber car coasters. Again, we usually list those in our eBay for like $10 free shipping. Oh, this is pretty cute. It is a, a play kitchen faucet for a kid's um, kitchen. More Apple Watch covers. Apple Watch cover. Ooh, these are Apple Watch bands uh, and they're the stretchy type. So maybe somebody would like those. <laughs> Guess what? It's another calendar. I may keep this. This may be the only thing today that I keep. I saw this and I thought it was something like that goes stuck on the wall until I heard one lady ask another lady there, what exactly is that? And she said, you actually put this in your refrigerator and it's for your cans. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, I could maybe use one of those, but I don't know because it maybe it's it's not really sticky. I, don't, I feel like this goes in some type of a system. I don't, this may, I may offer that today. Oh, I forgot that I got this. This huge box was there. Again, fill a bag day. And it says ab wheel. So let's see if it's a nice ab wheel because not all ab wheels are created the same. I'm kind of surprised that this ab wheel was still there on fill a bag day. That means that this was offered for $7. Nobody took it. $5, $3. One dollar, nobody wanted this ab wheel. So being there on fill a bag day, you know I picked it up. And I think some people were looking past it today because it takes up so much space. Oh my gosh, this thing is like, this is legit. This is so big on fill a bag day. This is not like any ab wheel that I've ever really seen. What? There's, okay, there's like two wheels first of all. Oh, I almost hit myself in the face with that. Did you guys see that? Wait. You grab a hold of these, maybe? 
Do you put your knees in there? There's this, there's this too. Your elbows. Dello is so smart. Okay, so you put this part up there and grab a hold of it and put your elbows. Oh my gosh, this thing is legit. Should I sell that today or work on a six pack? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, this, I don't know what this is. It says hollow round pin holder signing pin. Oh, for a wedding. Oh dang, if I had seen that while I was there, I would have gave it to this lady because she was there specifically looking for things for her daughter's wedding. It's a pin holder. You put this on there, it has like the screws and then you just click your pin right into there. That's so bougie. So if things go well today, then I may just make this a regular thing. $2 store Wednesday over on my whatnot and I could just always go pick up another calendar mat. I could just always pick up um, the items at the bins and bring them to you guys Wednesday and start everything at two bucks. My reason for not starting things at $1, because you might look at it and say, okay, you have over a hundred items here. That's easily over a hundred dollars if everything sells for a dollar, but it's not. When items sell on whatnot for a dollar, after you take out the 30 cent processing fee, the 8% whatnot fee, the 2.9% PayPal fee, you're left with like 36 cents. So if you sold a hundred items and you had to ship a hundred items and they all sold for a dollar, you're not making a hundred dollars, you're making $36. And that's a lot of work for $36. So that's why I start everything out at $2. Rarely ever will I ever start something at a dollar. Even if you have a room full of bidders, it's not a good idea because I've seen the app glitch out after one person bids a dollar and an item sell for that. So I always encourage people, don't start the item for less than what you're willing to take because it very well may sell for that. Another mouse pad calendar, mouse pad calendar. There's so many of these. Ah, oh, this robe is like so silky and soft. These are Cadillac car coasters. The cutest little bookmark ever. Look at this. It is like a brontosaurus and this part is flat and goes down into the book and then it almost looks like the Loch Ness Monster or something. Peaks up above the book pages. Oh, I thought this was another mouse pad. What is this? Rapper music flag. Oh boy. Oh boy. Who's on this flag? Okay, it says savage. I think that's what that says. I am greater than I was. Maybe somebody will want this for $2. Mouse pad. Oh, these are valve stem caps for a Lexus and these are also for a Lexus. These are valve stem caps for a Honda. I think I feel more mouse pad covers. Oh wait, it's another whole lot of red tapes, home decor. Okay, I think this is like another wrapper flag. Um, another mouse pad cover, mouse pad cover. A mouse pad cover. <laughs> well, not cover, another mouse pad. Another mouse pad. I'm telling you guys, I, if I got 30 of those, it won't surprise me. This is eyeliner, DNM limited eyeliner pencil. It's like a three pack of eyeliner. Um, this one is Lexus, Lexus, and Lexus valve stem cap. What is this? This is a peach hand cream, a three pack of hand lotion. Apple watch cover, more eyeliner, another three pack of eyeliner. Tell me if you guys would buy all of this for $10. These are for a Kia, little car coasters for a Kia. I have two pair of these earrings. These are super cute. I found two pair of those. Oh, they're like rubber. Oh, they're, they are the leather ones. I thought they were plastic. They're leather or at least like a faux leather. More car coasters. These are... I guess like some super sport edition or something. I don't know, it just has an S on it. Whew, I'm getting hot with these lights, you guys, and going through this bag. This is a lot. I don't wanna get sweat on my new robe. <laughs> oh, I got this. Uh, maybe somebody will want this. It has like hardware to hang it and everything. And it's just this uh, beautiful little abstract piece of artwork. It's a stretched canvas over a frame. Uh, another mouse pad. This is a sticker. What is this sticker? It says reflective. I don't know, it's like a triangle. Can you guys see that design? It's just reflective. Sports cars, five inch decal for cars, laptops, skateboard. I'm not really sure exactly the brand on that. I found it a fuel filter for a diesel, a Power Stroke diesel Ford. This fuel filter, um, I found one last week also, and I think they're only worth like $20 on eBay, but it starts out $2 today on my whatnot, so. Maybe someone will want it for that. Another Apple watch case, an Apple watch case, an Apple watch case. Here is a watch strap. It's like Christmassy letters, the letters of the alphabet watch strap. A uh, watch case, a watch case. And when I say watch case, guys, it's just like to cover the protective face. It's a, like a silicone thing that you put over the Apple watch 
Um, these are for a Dodge Ram, or I should just say Ram now, valve stem caps. I might ask my hubby if he wants those. BMW valve caps, another watch protector. Oh my gosh, guys, this bag is, it's not even halfway empty. Oh, there were two of these, and I don't know why I didn't grab the other one. This was one of the very last things I grabbed. I think it's like a wedge that you put under a piece of furniture. Sometimes even to assist in lifting someone, like I've seen people use these as mobility devices that way. I got one of those, maybe someone will need it today. Three more mouse pads. Oh, I have no idea what this is. I think I got two of these. Look at this big, huge bag. What is this? Let's find out. Oh! Oh, okay, they're, they look like books, but they're boxes. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you could totally do this as a gift or just as like as a gift box or just as like a little fake book. You could put things in there, but once you get it all closed up, look at this. Like it looks like a little book and it's really pretty colors. There's an entire bag of these in here. Oh, this is, I think it's a, I think it's an AirPod case. Wait, no, it's not. It's for Bose Quiet Comfort Ear. This is an AirPod one though. These are valve stem caps for a BMW. There's so much stuff in here. Oh, I found a bunch of these. They're barbell clamps. I feel like if these were in a, in a different area, people would have bought these up and there were a ton of them still in there. And I picked up one of them. This lady's like, what are those anyway? I was like, they're barbell clamps to keep your weights from coming off. Here's one set and these are in black. An Apple Watch protector. Um, another valve stem cap for Jeep. What is this? This is Conray adhesive, rod not included. I don't know, these are like for a curtain rod or something. Invalid serial number, damaged, not for sale. I don't know, they're like a holder that you affix to the wall and put some type of a rod in there. This is another poster, it is, um, I don't know, it says Patrick, maybe it's like a SpongeBob theme thing or something. Why is that like immediately what your mind goes to when you hear Patrick? It could be someone, it could be like Patrick Mahomes or something. But when I hear Patrick, I just immediately think of a, a pink cartoon starfish. Anybody else? Like this video if you too think of a pink cartoon starfish. Oh my gosh, it is Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> I'm glad at least I, at least I considered him. I feel like this should sell right now. They just won the Super Bowl, right? Is, doesn't he play for the Chiefs? This should sell. $2 today in my whatnot. Um, an Apple Watch strap. This one again is uh, stretchy. Another mouse pad. Oh, this is cool. It's an 18 month calendar. Here is a Perlator Boss Premium Cabin Air Filter. It's a car air filter anyway. And it, it says Febreze Freshness. It does look like it's been open. So I'll probably open that up and make sure that someone didn't like buy an air filter and then return their old one. A mouse pad, a mouse pad, a mouse pad. <laughs> This is, um, okay, I think that this is, this is like a generic version of the Frida baby that relieves gas in babies. The anti-wrinkle straw, flute style reusable glass straw fits to your lips horizontally, which eliminates the creasing of your lips when using the straw. What? Look at the straw. So instead of, I don't get how that's gonna keep you from wrinkling your lip. Like when you use a typical straw, but you still, how does it, how is this gonna change? Someone comment and explain this to me. How does this change the way it's in there? Ooh, and it's blue, that's cute. But I don't understand how it eliminates, whatever. It's a controller clamp for your phone on your controller. That's pretty neat. Okay, here's more Frida Baby. These are vapor drops for a bath diffuser. So Frida Baby vapor drops. Oh my gosh, it's a mouse pad. Look, it's another mouse pad. What do you think the grand total is gonna be on the mouse pads? Comment before the end of the video what those are gonna be and then we'll just see who got the closest gets 500 fake internet points. What is this? This is, oh, for a TFCC tear. It's like a little medical device for if you had a tear in your TFCC. Whatever that is. Maybe it's like a carpal tunnel thing or something. I don't know, it was in the wrist. Another mouse pad? It's a mouse pad. <laughs> Valve stem caps for a Honda. This, I didn't know what this was and I picked it up. It says mini link card compatible with Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. 26 pieces. Okay, let's see what it is. I already told you guys they use a lot of tape, right? Okay, finally. Oh, oh my gosh. They're these teeny 
teeny tiny little cards. It's a whole pack of them. I'm not sure exactly what for, but they're there. <laughs> Someone's gonna buy them today, sure of it. Ooh, I don't know what, I have no idea what's in this. It just says, thank you. Oh yeah, I used to work with Absolute Legends. It's a picture frame. Okay, another, um, these are Audi car coasters. No idea what's in this. It's just a mystery pink poly mailer taped up. So that tells me somebody there probably opened it at one. What is this? What? They're these little Japanese yo-yo helicopter things. I don't, there's a bunch of them in here. Like, probably a dozen inside this bag. I feel like I need to put this together and see what this does. Okay, it comes with this little slingshot looking thing. Okay, there's little holes up here, so this has to clip in here. When you need your kids to be home from school just to figure something out for you. Okay, we got this little slingshot deal, and now, okay, first of all, that little blinky light you can turn on. Did you see that? What is this? Do you, I don't feel like this is gonna be right. Amazing 58A aero helicopter. I feel like I'm supposed to do something else with this to make it like spinny? If I, if I, do I just let this fly across the room? No, that didn't do any. So there's like a dozen of those in this bag. Valve stem caps for a Honda, valve stem caps for a Lexus, valve stem caps for a Toyota and for a Cadillac. Oh, a truck emblem for what? Man, some of this stuff is really good. I'm like, should I just really be auctioning this off for $2? BMW trunk emblems, there's two of them in there. We'll see how it goes, a Tacoma. Emblem, GMC car coasters, another Apple watch cover, valve stem caps for a Dodge. Oh, I have no idea what's in this. I'm hoping it's some kind of jewelry. It says Utwata phone lanyard. Oh, that doesn't sound like jewelry. There's lots of pieces in here. It's like a whole like purse thing for your phone. Okay, first of all, it comes with this little clicky. So you have like this wrist strap, I guess for your phone. And then it comes with this piece is the piece maybe that you put on your phone, but there's more stuff in this box. The box is like so taped up. It's like stuck. Oh, okay. And then it comes with this neck lanyard piece and you just clip that onto your phone. Oh, and then here's all the little accessories that make it work and clip it onto your phone. I'd pay $2 for that. I think I honestly underestimated how long it was gonna take to go through this bag because the show starts in an hour, you guys. I don't even have it set up. I just realized that while we are 20 minutes into this video, I continue to look through this bag for another 20 minutes, you guys. So I'm gonna save us all a little bit of time and speed through the video uh, with the fact that I'm, I'm gonna stop and showcase a few items or funny things that happen during this unboxing, but uh, otherwise you're, you're gonna watch it at eight times speed here. Um, and then we're gonna get into what these items actually sold for on whatnot. So hang tight for that. Don't know what's in this one either. It's just a silver box. It says, 2023 annual edition decorations. Ooh, this is like almost the exact same color as my nails. Oh, how pretty. It's like this crystal snowflake. The way that that catches the light. This is gorgeous in person, you guys. And then it comes with this little crystal um, strap for it and this satin bag, like this satin box. I don't know what brand this is. This thing is nice. This is the only thing, guys, that I actually did want for me. They're volumizing hair clips, and I don't think I'm gonna sell these. I really wanted these for me because I just feel like I would love to take one of these, roll my hair up. Okay, I think I did it wrong because now where am I supposed to clip it to? Maybe, anyway, I wanna keep these in my hair while I'm doing my hair. <laughs> oh no, now it's, <laughs> how did this happen? <laughs> what, <laughs> help. <laughs> Oh wait, oh, it's really stuck. Maybe I should sell these today. I have no... How did this happen? Oh my gosh, you guys, it's legit <laughs> stuck in my hair. <laughs> Drew, come help me. <laughs> guys, this, this went terribly wrong. Oh my gosh, how did I, help me. <laughs> Don't pull it! Don't pull it out! Don't break my hair! Be gentle! Don't break it! Oh my gosh, stop! You're being too rough! <laughs> I'm back there pulling! You are, you promise? Don't break it! Don't break my hair! I'm not breaking it. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna sell these today. I don't think I can be trusted to know how to use them clearly. Ah, you're pulling my hair. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you do? <laughs> okay, let me see, let me see. <gasps> I think you made it worse. No, I didn't. <laughs> you're gonna oh blame my, this on me. Oh my me. gosh. Okay, these are, these are gonna be for selling my whatnot today. <laughs> I honestly did find some really cool things in this lot, you guys. There were some snore stickers, um, a little bit of paraphernalia. It seems like that always sneaks its way into the Amazon bins hauls. There was a, a skin, like a Van Gogh skin cover for a Switch. That was really cool. There were a lot of neat things. If you ever do want to see every single last item that I found in one of these bags, then show up on my whatnot. I have it reserved again this Wednesday um, at 1 p.m. Central. You will find me selling items like this for $2 again. So if you missed this sale last week, you can still make it to the sale this week. And you can see every single item that I actually score on the $10 fill bag day. And trust me, there are a lot of discounts that I'm passing on to anyone that shows up in my whatnot. So I have thoroughly trashed my living room now. Look at this. This is all from one bag. <laughs> I don't even know if these will all sell in a day, you guys. Is this a good idea? Is this a bad idea? If all of this sold for $2, that'd be amazing. Um, and then all of these. Let me count these real quick. <laughs> 37, 38, 39, 40 of these, you guys. 40. Plus the really awesome ab wheel also. Oh my gosh. How many items are here? The last thing I want to do is count these, but I also kind of need to sort them. I put on whatnot that the show starts at one o'clock. It is 1222. And remember I started this video out telling you guys how tired I am, how sleepy I am from staying up so late last night. All right, don't be mad. I didn't count the items. I will, I will, I promise. We'll eventually have like some type of account. We know there's over a hundred, so uh, less than 10 cents an item, right? Here's my little setup for today. I have this tripod, which is absolutely always linked in the description of my videos. This is a tripod that I use um, when doing my whatnot shows and it's amazing and it folds up, it's portable. It's less than $7 on Walmart. So check the description for the link for that. Here's my first item. It's going to be these valve stem caps. I have a little ring light here. Always have a ring light linked in the description as well. And I will just do my whole show from right here, grabbing items. Whenever a buyer buys an item, I'm going to write their name down here, put it inside of one of these bread bags, something that's stuck to right now. Um, and then I'll just start a little section here. I'll probably clear this out. This will be like fulfilled orders uh, for buyers. So I keep track of everything that everyone has because I'm clearly not putting every one of these items in individually. That would be insane. And the idea is how easily I can profit off my $10. That, that would be a lot of work. If I was going to do that, I would just go list all of these on eBay. So I'll move my 40 mouse pads, clear this section out. This will be for buyer's orders. Oh my gosh, I'm exhausted now. Okay, so that show went on for a little over three hours. Um, I stayed on there until like literally there was nothing left to sell. Uh, the people that showed up, like even, even if you just showed up to hang out with me, first of all, thank you so much tremendously. So I was able to turn my $10 buy cost into $213 plus I got a $20 tip. So $213, clearly there are some fees associated with that. Now I tried not to run a bunch of little items. Again, there's a 30 cent fee for every single transaction. And I think I have like 51 transactions. There was like 51 orders today. So, um, there's a lot to package up. I have everything bagged up with individual buyers' names on it. Let me show you guys. It's bagged up from here, bags just everywhere, you guys. My back kind of hurts from being bent over uh, that ottoman like that for like three hours. But anyway, um, I will package up all these orders and then tell you guys how much the final numbers are. And we're going to see in, okay, th so three hours of the show. It's probably going to take me close to an hour, but I'll time myself to ship these items. And then also um, the time it took standing in line was like mm, 12 minutes. I probably got there 12 minutes before they opened. And then there was 20 minutes inside. So that's another half hour. Um, so we're looking at four and a half hours worth of work. Uh, yeah, if it takes me an hour to ship this, then it will be at four and a half hours. So I'll time myself shipping and we're going to see in four and a half hours how much I turned my $10 into. All right, so here's one thing that I'm always talking 
talking about. Be careful with the fees when you're doing several small like $1 or $2 items because you'll see I sold $213 worth but my uh, total earned was $169.50. So that's 79%. That is 21% fees. Whatnot is 8% fees but it is plus 3% fees for the PayPal transaction and 30 cents on each transaction. You can see I had uh, 59 items sold. They are super transparent about this fee, but for some reason, a lot of sellers, especially new sellers, will overlook it. Those 59 items times the 30 cent transaction fee, that alone is $17.70. Whatnot is not taking that. PayPal takes that every single time that they have to process a transaction. So of those 59 different items, a lot of those I bulked up. Some of them were five items, six items, eight items at a time. Otherwise, this number would have been a lot worse. So if you know that you're going to have a lot of of low dollar sales and buyers one buyer might want 10 items it makes a lot of sense it's advantageous for you to just go ahead and bulk that up so every time I sell an item for two dollars we're gonna immediately deduct 11% that's the eight plus the three PayPal and whatnot fees so let's just multiply the two times 0.89 we're at a dollar 78 but then PayPal takes 30 cents of that so every time I sell an item for two dollars I am making a dollar 48 if we're taking that dollar 48 and divided by the two dollars that is again 25 percent in fees whatnot is super transparent again about this but just so many sellers overlook it so 169 dollars and 50 cents and then we're going to subtract what i paid for the bag this morning that's 158 dollars and 67 cents now and we are going to divide that by the four and a half hours that it took me to do that work it's right at 35 dollars and 26 cents an hour all right i got my orders all packed up here that is everything from that bag i just it's out of my house within 24 hours of collecting it these are all my son's orders from his whatnot this week. So if you guys have been showing up and whatnot, again, major appreciation. Thank you so much for your support. You don't have to replicate exactly what I did here on Whatnot. What you need to do is find a source where you can get a lot of product, a bulk of product, very inexpensively. I had literally fractions of a penny into each one of these items. And then if you're trying to rinse and repeat this method and make $100, $200 every day, you need to be willing to liquidate these items for less than what they're truly worth. It's the same model these Amazon bin stores are succeeding at. Some of the items are going to be worth a little less and some of them a little more. I will tell you that I sold a few bulk lots today worth over $20 a piece, some of them for $2, some of them for $5. I started everything at $2 and just let the buyers who were present in the show tell me what they were willing to pay for it. When you decide that you don't need to squeeze every single penny out of every item you source, you will sell more items, you will sell them faster, and again, you can rinse and repeat this method. $150 a day may not seem like a lot, but over the course of a year, and $200 a day over the course of a year, that is a full-time income for a lot of people. It is more than what many are making as a full-time income. Simply by getting a bulk of items inexpensively, liquidating them fast on an online live auction site, and not trying to squeeze every penny out. By selling items for less than what they're worth, you may be able to make more money than you ever thought as a reseller. If today's video has inspired you also to sell on Whatnot, then check my description. Whatnot has an application process to be able to sign up as a seller, but I have included my referral code, which basically tells Whatnot, Rachel Strickland thinks that you'd be a great seller on Whatnot. I had someone comment on a video a few days ago telling me that her approval on Whatnot using my referral code was immediate. No one shared a referral code with me when I applied and I waited four months to be able to sell over there. So check the link in the description, sign up to be a seller today. As always, thanks so much for watching today's video. God bless you guys and remember, treat your business like your business.